28th of December 2017. This is a male entire five years old poodle. Okay, the purpose of this video is to educate pet owners, dog owners or male dogs, uh, that it's better to neuter them when they're young. For some, I mean, for, for the good reason is the antisocial behavior. Antisocial behavior means they climb on people's legs, especially ladies, or they, they hum. They hum pillows, toys, or anything. Now, when, when they do that, this is considered antisocial behavior because most people don't like it. Then number two is urine marking. Because male dogs, they have their male hormones, so they like they have to or some of them to mark, uh, urine, urinate here and there, one spot, two spot, especially when you're not looking uh, either on the carpet or on the on the floor or anywhere outside the bedroom in the corners. And uh, some owners manage to control them by scolding them. But uh, when the owners are not around, they, they, they do again. So the whole apartment is smells of urine and this encourages them to do more because they think that the whole apartment is their, their, their territory, so they will have to mark it. So many male dogs, that are not neutered, they have to do it, so there is no way that you can stop it unless you neuter the dog and remove the male hormones. So now we see this case, we just show the armpit, you hold the armpit, hold the armpit, just hold it on your side. I will, I will show this dog come down here. Come. Now, this dog, you can see the effect of humping and also self-stimulation self because he's trying to stimulate himself and these are all pigmented due to uh, saliva leaking. Now the thing, the thing of worry in this part, you see that? The, the, the crocodile skin, uh, this is due to leaking for a long, long time, this side and this side. And uh, this dog is only five years old, so the leaking is probably uh, Two, for the last two years, they spread up. The skin infection goes upwards. Then you see it goes upwards. And uh, before too long, they'll be on black here. So now we are going to neuter the dog. So now this one is probably a, a common case for male dogs. They are very territorial. They like to. They have to mark territory. They, they just can't do without marking and but at the same time they humping they humping the toy right the stuff toy right so when they hum there's a friction so after they feel more itchy so they they uh, lick it until it becomes really uh, hardened you see the skin becomes hardened huh? so this one after neutering we have to give some drugs to to bring down the inflammation and uh, other than that, I will check the, the backside inner glands. Huh? Now, this dog was vaccinated last week. Last week, right? Vaccinated. Yeah. Was the inner glands checked? Did, did the vet check the inner glands? Okay, relax first. Now, some dogs don't like, don't like the inner glands to be expressed by the skin pool. So, let me just check first. Now you can tell that it's, that it's swollen, you can feel it. Now. This part is swollen. Now. Sometimes you cannot, but you just express it this way. Did the dog bite the tail? Chase after the tail? No. no. So the good, good news is that there isn't any. No. So that's why you didn't bite the tail, you see. Then the ears, then let's check the ears. Now, the scooters. You can tell whether they have ear problems by checking the color and the and the whether it's black or if it's black it means he has ear infections. But this part is quite clean, so you, you don't see any. But there's a lot of ear hairs. So this one is groomed two monthly, so so the ears are are maintained. Now look at this side. Come, same thing. Huh? Can't see this side. It's a bit red, reddish. You see there. Normally it should be this color, white color. So there is some uh, irritation, but there's no smell. So the main problem is the lack of ventilation. So the owner may have to pluck the ear hairs, either with the hand or forceps. Huh? Now look at the teeth, look at the eyes first. Huh? Now you see the eyes. The right eye, you can see there's a discharge. 
so he probably has some eye, eye injury. You just see the conjunctiva, you see all red, very reddish, huh? you see. Now, compared to the normal eye, it's not really that normal, but it's still, it's still reddish as well. But this one, there's no tearing. No tearing. This one, you can see the tearing. There, the pass coming out. And uh, the hair loss. So this one, there's some eye problem, which we'll check. And then uh, the, the mouth, huh? basically this of the teeth is quite, the teeth are quite clean, uh, except for this tartar. So you just, just uh, scale away the tartar. Other than that, he has, he has no gum disease. His, his mouth, there's no smell. And you can see the neck. But the problem is here, that licking. The scratching, eh? scratching, you see. So this is due to some itchiness, you see. Scratching, it's quite a lot actually. It's not obvious. So when the dog scratches the chin, it might scratch the eye. You can see quite a lot, you see. It's not obvious. Did the, did the groomer shave off? Yeah. No. No. Eh? He don't want to shave. Hmm? You don't want to shave? He don't want. Why? The dog don't want. On the bike. You see, uh, this is after the shave off of the owner. So many of these things are infection uh, of the skin and the hair. You see up to here. Up to here. This is usually due to itchy ears. Uh. Itchy ears, but the ears is not so painful. Okay, finish. So we will do this.